these past two years, they've been completely unexpected. And many of us haven't made it, but we have. So what are you doing with your time? What am I doing with my time? Well, one thing that I've learned is that there is beauty in everything, but only if you shift your perspective. Think about it. A five-letter virus ravaged the nations. Hope fled from us all, so the masses wept in frustration. A loved one taken too soon, so we turned our backs to salvation. Anchored to chaos, and we've lost our foundation. But what if your life wasn't a grave, an endless storm devoid of peace, but instead it was a map, a plan, a divine masterpiece, perspective check, I praise God for the suffering that brought me understanding. I praise God for the humility that accompanied my crash landing. I praise God for the pain that brought me to my knees. I praise God for the healing disguised as disease. Jesus Christ will leave the 99 every single time to save just the one, and that one soul is mine. I thought that my sin was too great. I thought that I would never be worthy, but one thing I was reminded of is that the cross stands before me. So trust that there lies purpose in your paralysis because there is beauty in everything when you shift your perspective. Beauty, that's it. So I've heard that the beauty, the joy, the peace, the stillness, I've heard it. I've heard it. I've heard that it can can outshine the brightest star. I've heard that it cometh in the morning light to those who await it. And it's true. For you see, my joy, the peace, the stillness came to me this morning as I tossed and turned, and it's become incredibly hard for me to escape this feeling. And I'm grateful. For you see, this joy, this peace, this stillness that I have right now can outshine the brightest star any day of the week. This joy... This peace, this stillness, it's mine for the keeping, and the world can't take it from me. And I offer it to you. See, the world will try to unmoor you from God's love, but I want you to believe that it will always fall short. For you see, you cannot have God's love and then accept, expect to replace it with hate and fear and doubt. That's when our lives often fall apart. So, as cool as a summer breeze and as calm as the rivers flow, let your joy, let the peace, let the stillness let them speak. Let them do their calming, their healing. Every time the winds blow. So, no matter what the world says, no matter how hard it tries, the lies, the hate, the guilt, do not give in. Do not be discouraged. He is with us. He will strengthen and he will help us. 
And he, he will hold us up with his victorious right hand. Because there's beauty in everything when you shift your perspective.